for the last four or five days, we, we, we were really disappointed. We thought we weren't going to make it. Yeah. So once we were on the plane and once we were finally here, we were, we were, like I said, we were so excited. We were excited anyway, but we were so excited that we yeah. made it that it was just, we had a great time. Probably the best time we've ever had on stage. The, the audience in Germany was awesome. been fantastic. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything from the hotel to the gig, it's all been just the whole package. Yes, yes it's, it's <laughs> unbelievable. One from from uh, not so. Oh, this is yeah. uh, totally yeah. normal here at <laughs> Keep It True <laughs> Festival. <laughs> but uh, what was the reason uh, to? Ach, leg mich doch mal Arsch, du blöder Wichser. From uh, from uh, not 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 fan of the. Uh, yeah, rock and roll. Uh, not so fan of the of the first years, but uh, what was the reason? Uh, uh, wait, wait. What was the reason? For, for the, fir for the re recordings of the first. That's a good two question. Two yeah. Okay, when we when we did those albums originally, uh, a little bit slower. But I was drunk and my English was a uh, bullshit and uh, a little bit slower. <laughs> well, when we did the albums originally. Wait, wait, wait. I got we, the boot. I, I got We didn't have much time or money, so. I must have to for you. Yeah, it's a good question. We were just talking about it. A question from a naked fan. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> so, the short answer we never liked how they turned out originally. So, we, for ourselves, and for. I know that people that know those albums wouldn't want them any other way, probably. But for us. We always thought the the songs didn't come across right for us, so we yeah. took the time to do it uh, with more time, patience. Uh, we could put the time into it, but we tried to keep the spirit of the originals. We just some of those songs were never that fast, except when we got in the studio and had three days and <laughs> boom, we heard, we went through them so fast. So we did them again. If you like the old ones, go on the website. You can download them forever and just listen to those. But if you don't like the production and you want to hear what those songs might have sounded like. Listen to the new one. So Where? they're both Absolutely. of them. And the old ones are the old ones my, are available my, for free. My, my and you'll, the old stuff is available for free is, online. Uh, that's cool. So Songs if you get the new live. stuff that is really the old stuff and you don't like you it, like it yeah. you can have the really really old no, stuff I, uh, for free. And uh, the old record company don't has a problem though. Oh, we no record company. So and when you hear the new the new stuff, you'll you'll hear a lot of things that were there on the first records, but. Production-wise, didn't come through. So, but, but you used uh, real drums and anything on the? Oh, yeah, no, not yeah. yeah, yeah. Because some bands who re-record something use trigger drums or computer. No, 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 no it's all real drums. I mean, they're, they're they've been gone through on Drumagog, but they're my samples and I'm playing it all. So yes. it's all real drumming. Okay. So uh, when you, when you started with a band, you have a real unique style. You mix. Thrash metal, classic heavy metal. There are some, I think, some vocal parts which remind me on new wave music sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, was it an idea or was it just happening like this? Just our influence is coming through pretty yes. much. We all like a, a big variety of music, so. Yes. It, some of it, the arrangements would get kind of choppy here and there, but everybody was had their input, and there were so many different influences. Mm -hmm. they, Finally, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, uh, I guess when we first started writing together as a band, we yeah. do it at rehearsal, yeah. and a lot of times Kenny would do some of the arrangements at home and then bring it back, and then we work on it some more. So it was like it was always a work in progress. But ultimately, Kenny did the arranging and uh, uh, you know put the lyrics to the songs or vice versa and write the melodies and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we did have a lot of different influences. Uh, anything from, like you said, old classic rock yeah. up to hardcore punk and you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. The reason album we were listening to a lot of hardcore oh, yeah. crossover yeah. music. Mario, all the tracks fix out. Yeah, rock and roll. You want in Anna Cruz's picture? Anna Cruz's. Anna Cruz's. Anna Cruz's. Unbelievable. Excellent. Okay, I try to get my last question up. Hey, what's your last question? <laughs> my favorite. I didn't even get to hear the first one. My, it's okay. It's okay. Can you? Can you? My favorite record is Screams and Whispers. Okay. Which is yours? It's a toss-up between the first two for me, so yeah. 
Very much so. No, they're, no okay. human. they're like our children. Which one's yeah. your favorite? <laughs> yeah, I know. They're all, I like each of them for different reasons. Yes. Uh, yeah. I go back and forth between Manic Impressions and Screams and Whispers. Yeah. I think my favorite songs are on those two albums. Yeah. So I would say I'd have to pick the, la the later stuff, I think. Yeah. I know there are people that love Suffering Hour and think we've got turned crap after that, but you have to like the faster, thrashy stuff. But uh, I like the more melodic stuff, so I like the later. <laughs> It's hard to do interviews at Keep It Real Festival. Pizza, Just know. crazy people! <laughs> Thanks to Anna Krosis for this interview. For it was me. nice meeting them. Else. Yes. Two in the Maybe we'll have some party right now. <laughs> oh, well, we'll have several.